Hi, I'm Mr. Kelly, and welcome to my Tax Science YouTube page. This Tax Science YouTube page is set up so that you can be successful on the Texas State Tax Test exit level in order to graduate from high school in the state of Texas. What I've done is I've gone along and I have videotaped my lessons in biology, chemistry, and physics for you so that you can be reminded of the things that you need to know in order to pass the tax test. I hope that I've done something that will make you successful so that you can pass the test. A couple of things you need to know. First, as you begin the videos in a few minutes, you'll need to make sure that you have a few supplies. One of the supplies that you're going to need is some paper and a pencil or pen. Every time that you open a video, you'll want to make sure that you have the ability to write things down. My suggestion as you go along is pause the video if I go too fast or rewind the video so you can listen to it again but please make sure that you write down everything that I write on the screen so that you have a good set of notes and you'll be prepared for the tax test. Now please understand, I don't know the questions that they'll use on the tax test, but I do know the subjects. And so I've gone through and tried to give you as much information to remind you of things that you've known as you've taken biology, chemistry, and physics, or IPC, physics and IPC are the same thing, in order to be ready for this test. So make sure you have a paper and pencil every time that you watch a video. It'd probably be also successful for you if you have a calculator handy. There are a few lessons where I'll use a calculator and I'll do mathematics with you and then I'll work a problem with you and then I'll actually have you try some on your own. And you'll pause the video, try it, and then I'll come back and work it for you and you can see how you've done. So make sure you have a calculator as well. It's probably going to be important that you have a periodic table. Um, you may want to go to the internet and find a copy of the periodic table printed out so that you have it. You probably want two copies. You'll see why later. Have two copies because one of them you're going to write all over. And I'll remind you when you get to those lessons. Now, if you're one of my students or you're at Richland High School, feel free to come by and get some of the supplies from me like a periodic table. But if you're not, go see your teacher at school. Or you don't, if you don't have that reference, feel free to look one up on the internet. But I hope this will be something that you can really use. Last but not least, here's how you use these videos. Below this video on the list are lots and lots of videos. Many of the videos are only two, three, four, maybe five minutes long. Some of the bigger topics are going to be longer because it took me longer to teach them. You want to start at the very bottom of the list. When you go down to the very bottom of the list in a minute, you're going to see where I have my biology videos. As a matter of fact, right below that, there's a video that says a must see. Watch that video. It's only about two minutes long. It talks about exactly how I teach the lessons. Make sure you watch that one. And then you're going to start with biology one. After you've done biology one, then you'll bi do biology number two. And you just work up from the bottom of the list toward the top. I've done as much as I can to try to help you. If you have any other questions, ask your teacher about this or come see me if you're here at Richland. And I hope you do a great job and good luck on the next tax test.